Good morning, Oak Park School. It's Mr. Kyle and Micah. Today is Thursday, February 23rd, 2023. Our special guest for this morning's news is Capone. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? What? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Would you please remain standing for our, pl our Panther Pledge? Today, I will be respectful, and uh, accepting, and responsible. I am an Oak Park Panther. Hear me roar! You may be seated. Thanks for helping us out this morning. We now take some time for a, or a, take some time and pause for a moment of silence. Use this time for your own personal thoughts, prayers, and quiet reflections. Let's grab our lab coats and see what the Literacy Lab has in store for us today. Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. And I'm Kate O'Hare. And, and we're, we're your reading, reading interventionists. interventionists. On this week's segment of Black History Month, our student guest is none other than Neo McGee. Good morning, Neo. Hi, Neo. Good morning. Thanks for being on the show with us today. Neo was a third grader in Miss Grogan's class, and we really appreciate you volunteering for us today. Who would you like to tell us about? Malala. And Miss O'Hare, did you want to ask him a question about Malala? I do. Why is it that you decided you wanted to tell us about Malala Yousafzai? I like people that write books and read books, like me, and she did a very good job not giving up and standing up for other girls and worrying about school. Awesome. Those are all super reasons to mm -hmm. pick Malala. Would you like to tell us a little bit more about her? Yeah. Okay, honey, take it away. Okay. Malala was 11. She began writing about how much she wanted to get ed an education, even through some people in her native, native pa Pakistan. Pakistan thought girls should, shouldn't go to school. Malala was threatened threatened many mm -hmm. times, but she persisted, mm -hmm. persisted, persisted, persisted in writing about her dreams for herself and girls everywhere. When Malala was 15, a man board, mm -hmm. boarded her school bus and shot her tear Hair getting her because of her targeting her because of her carriage and standing up for girls' right to go to school. Even after she was hurt, Malala didn't give up. She is the youngest ever Nobel Peace prize winner and still works hard in the hope that one day every child will be able to go to school all while she herself is still in school. That's pretty amazing. And there's a quote, is there a quote that you want to share with us? Yep. One child one teacher, one book, one, and one pen can change the world. 
Well, Neo, thank you so much for telling us about Malala and choosing her to be on the show with us today. You're she's a pretty incredible kid yourself. I was just thinking she's an inspiration just like you are, Neo. Okay. Thank you, friends, and thank you for seeing us on The Lab today, and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Micah and I will close things out this morning with our Thursday, th Throwback Thursday, a time where we highlight a famous event that happened on this date in history. On this day in 1836, during the Texas War for Independence, Mexican General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana begun a siege of the Alamo, oh, began a siege on the Alamo, which was captured after 13 days, which became for Texas a symbol of hero heroic resistance. Also on this day, six U.S. servicemen raised an American flag over Mount Sirbachi on the island of Iwo Jima, <laughs> or Jima during World War II. And uh, Mike and I, we hope you have a great day, Panthers. And like always, continue to roar! roar!